Hello, so this is it's your girl Corinne Nicole. And welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have this little red baby here with me. <laughs> he looks so red on camera like he's just been fussing. Okay, um, this is a part of my 12 days of Christmas, and this is the two week update for Prince K. So, if you'd like to see what's going on in week two with Prince K, then keep on watching. Hey, play what you gonna get? guys for joining my channel and watching this tour date for Christmas with me. This will be the two week update for Prince K. Before you get into this video, make sure you click the red button down below, subscribe to our channel, thumbs this video up, click the bell so you can be notified anytime we upload a video. Let's get into this. I'm going to go to my phone, um, the same pregnancy app that I used when I was pregnant, the same apps that I'm using to track progress for Prince K now. Uh, Prince K is currently two weeks old. Today is actually Friday, so we're like two weeks and two days. Yeah, so we're at 14, 15, 16 days. 17, I don't know. Y'all know it's, y'all know I can't count. But anyway, so it says that um, my womb was warm and cozy, and it takes time for baby to adjust to the various sights, sounds, and sensations of life outside of my body. You may not be able to detect much of the personality just yet. As your baby spends his time moving in and out of different states of sleepiness, quiet alertness, and active alertness. The only way your baby knows to communicate is by crying, but you can communicate with him through your voice and your touch. He can now recognize your voice and pick it out among others. Your baby probably loves to be held, yes, caressed, kissed, stroked, massaged, and carried. He may even make an ah oh sound when he hears your voice and sees your face, and he'll be eager to find you in the crowd. Okay, and then it has things from mommy to the, I'm just going to go and tell you some things that we have going on. It says, as a new parent, it's normal to feel some degree of emotional vulnerability. At least 60 to 80% of new mothers experience the baby blues and mild form of depression. They call it sleepiness, anxiousness, sleeping problems, irritability, and moodiness. Ooh, I may be suffering from the baby blues. If your blues last more than two or three weeks, you may have postpartum depression, a serious condition that affects up to 20% of new moms. If you're feeling any of those symptoms, insomnia, weepiness, or sadness that persists all day, diminished interest in almost all activities, a difficulty concentrating, change of appetite, anxiety, excessive guilt, panic attacks, or suicidal thoughts, contact your health care provider right away. Remember, your baby is an individual. All babies are unique and meet milestones at their own pace. Developmental guidelines simply show that your baby has the potential to accomplish, if not right now, then soon. If your baby was premature, keep in mind that kids born early usually need a bit more time to meet their milestones. If you have any questions at this about your baby's development, ask your healthcare provider. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Okay. So it says basically at two weeks old that he's going to do a lot of crying, a lot of fussiness. Just trying to do things to get mommy's attention. They said that he knows my voice at this moment, which is absolutely correct. And I think he's known my voice since the very, very beginning. Um, he knows my voice, my scent, my body movements. He knows everything. Because when I would walk out of the room, he would immediately start fussing. Um, right now, he has started to sleep throughout the night, which is good. So that gives mommy time to sleep. Um, he does not cry when it's time to eat in the middle of the night. He kind of just makes these noises that he's making now that he's trying to wake up to um get food because he's almost it's almost time for him to eat now. Um so we don't get a lot of crying. We get a little crying when he is irritable because he can't use the rest. He can't make a bowel movement. Um but from my understanding it's just because of the breast milk he has to get his body adjusted to it. All those good things. So we will be okay. Um he has he is actually doing things that I think he's not supposed to be doing. He likes to try to hold his head up. He likes to try to roll over. So he's doing a lot of things that in two weeks he's not supposed to be doing. As far as me, as far as mommy is concerned, I may have a baby blues. I have had some moments where I'm just sad and really don't know why I'm sad. I've had some moments where I've been real moody, just <laughs> don't talk to me. I really don't want to be messed with right now type of thing. So I may be going through the baby blues. Let's hope it does not um, 
escalate even far, further to postpartum depression. Uh, let's see. He's fascinated with lights. He loves to look at the Christmas tree behind this. He likes to watch the television. Blink, you know, you can't really see it, but he loves to see the colors blink. Um, he loves to be held, especially up by my face. He likes to be real close to me. Um, and he likes to be held real tight, real close to you as if he's still in the room. Other than that, two weeks have been awesome. No complaints. His hair has curled up a bit, if you guys can see that. Hair has curled up a bit. It is not as slick as it was in the beginning. So this two weeks have been pretty good. And we'll be back next week for three weeks. Isn't that right, first hair before you start acting fool, huh? Yes. All right. So you guys let me know if you have any questions about what happens in the two weeks with baby. And then leave those comments down below. Anything that you want to hear about in next week's video. Let me know down below. And until then, thank you guys for watching. Bye.